Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Lincoln and today I'm going to show you how to make chain mail using the array tool and the radial symmetry tool and it's really quick and easy using the torus. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the sphere. I'm going to add a cylinder because it's going to be easier to see what's going on and we're just going to paint all. That way we can see the chain mail on it easier. Alright, so let's go ahead and add a torus. Obviously, this, this is going to be way too big. Let's pull it out to the front and we're going to roughly rotate it to the front. And let's bring it back and shrink it way down and just make it a little bit easier to deal with. You'll be able to see the pattern a little bit better. Okay, so we're just going to do a real simple pattern, just the one and five, I guess you'd call it. So that's the first one we want to put on and just get it to where it just touches your object. That'll work. Now let's clone that and drag it down. And this one's going to go up. And we need to make room. Oops. I want that. We need to make room for two of them. So I prefer most of the time when you're doing a pattern like this, just use half of what you're going to use. But you're going to see something here real quick. What we want to do is rotate them both in just a little bit so it kind of shapes to your form, kind of like that. Now, to get the to see what the pattern would look right so you're centered properly, we'll clone this one and we'll delete it. But I just want to make sure that we have the right amount of room and it didn't have to fit in there perfect. And that's if you can see what I'm looking at, I'm just looking to make sure that that pattern is going to be even. So it looks pretty good right there. So we'll just go ahead and delete that. Now that we have these two put together, that should be just about right. So these two toruses, we're just going to join, just simply join them. And now we're gonna add a radial to it. Now this is where we'll see if the pattern matches right. And that looks really good, just like that. Okay. Now what's gonna be cool is when we do up so let's go ahead and validate that, which is fine. We'll keep instances, that way you can remove links if you want to. Now to that same group that we just made, and you can see there that this torus has made a group with all those rings in it. So select that, and we're gonna grab the array tool. And if we go to the home or the front, either one, we don't want it to array that direction. So let's bring that down to one click off fit inside. Now you should be able to bring these in and voila, you have perfect chain mail. Like I said, this is just a basic pattern and you can definitely do the double mail pattern or whatever. That's pretty cool. And if you drag all this down, you can just keep dragging more up and there you go. Simple and easy. All right, so the last thing we can do real quick is come in and paint all of this. We can go and just validate it this time for now, which is fine. And I'm just gonna change the material to metal. And, oh, that's right, I won't do it because it doesn't like the torus, but if you choose these, I think that should do it. Paint all, there we go. Yeah, if you have the group, it won't paint the group. It's only gonna paint the object, so remember that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. A super easy tutorial on chain mail. And it's something you can do. You can do this pattern with a lot of different things. Just remember, you just have to do your offset and just kind of make sure that it's going to look right when you put it together. Remember, if you guys are liking these videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.